the concert I'm going to play in an hour is uh, part of uh, a series called New Voices, um, which is part of a bigger festival called Celtic Connections, which takes place takes place in Glasgow every January. And um, yes, the New Voices series has been running for a number of years now, and lots of uh, great musicians and composers have stemmed from that. So I'm really excited to be part of it. So the concert acts uh, as a narrative for a book called Children of the Dead End, um, which was written by Patrick McGill, a uh, Donegal native who moved over to Scotland in, at the start of the 20th century. And the book is semi-autobiographical. Um, he based it on his own life. He wrote it when he was in his early 20s, uh, in around, around 1913. It's a really colourful tale, very can be quite heartbreaking. Yes, and the music was inspired by that tale, and I sort of based each each piece around like a, a, a different um, characters in the story or like pinnacle sort of points in the story as well. Um, so I kind of came up to, I came up with the idea nearly two years ago and started writing tunes. Um, and I met up with two, two of the guys that were on the CD, Andrew Waite and Ines White, and we worked on arrangements together. So the music acts as a soundtrack, and I actually recorded it last year, so the, the music is available to buy as well. Um, and I've added a couple of little bits um, to the concert, so there'll be an extra, there's actually going to be an extra song. Despite the hate and sense which the fates have borne to crush me low, I love to watch the puppet show and count myself exceeding rich. So uh, playing with me tonight will be uh, Andrew Waite on accordion, Ines White on uh, guitar, Paul McClure on Baron, Steve Foreman on percussion and sound effects, uh, Megan Henderson on violin, Fergus Hetherington on viola and Sue Ali on cello and then Jack Houston will be reciting some of McGill's poetry over the music. All, all are mine, the simple flower, the ocean and its madding wrath, the drunken wind that beats my path, the arched skies that shine or lower.